Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a dual tank water level controller. This circuit is used to automate our water pump. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is the circuit, it has an AT Mega 328 MCU for the intelligence, a 16x2 LCD for display the information, 3 push buttons to change the parameters and 2 relays to control the water pump. The circuit works on 12V supply, the 12V supply is connected to 12V and ground pin of the controller. The controller uses 2 water level sensors, one for the overhead tank and the other for the underground tank. The sensor is made of 5 10K resistors connected in series. The sensor has two wires, one is connected with the resistor network and the other is the common wire. The overhead sensor is connected to A3 and 12V pin of the controller and the underground sensor is connected to A4 and 12V pin of the controller. A switch is connected to I2 and 12V pin of the controller. With this switch, we can change the mode of the controller the controller has two modes, auto mode and the manual mode. A push button is connected to I1 pin and 12V pin of the controller. The push button is used to start and stop the pump manually. In auto mode, when overhead tank level is less than 20%, the pump will automatically start and when the overhead tank level is 100%, the pump will stop. If the underground tank level is less than 20, the pump will not start or immediately stops if it is running. In manual mode, we can start and stop the pump with the push button. The pump will be stopped if the underground sensor is less than 20%. To adjust the tank level, first long press the menu button. And with the up and down button, overhead tank level can be adjusted. Now press the menu button again and we can adjust underground tank level. To save the settings, press the menu button again. I have made PCBs for this project. Now let's put all the components onto the PCB.
So I have placed all the components onto the PCB. Now let's upload the hex file to the microcontroller. And now our project is ready, so let's test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.